Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the Synergen Leadership Podcast. My name is Julian Carl, CEO and co-founder of Synergen Group, and very happy to once again bring you another episode where I speak with John Bainey, who is the CEO of True Pillars. I think you'll find this interview interesting for a couple of reasons. The first is that John shares his leadership journey as he's gone through a range of different roles in the banking sector. And I think one of the key messages for me also was where he speaks about resourcing and what it's like to be a leader in a very large organization where you have a lot of resources and what it's like to be a leader in, in a smaller organization where you need to be more resourceful as opposed to relying on resources. So once again, would love to hear what you think. Happy listening. Welcome to the Synergen Leadership Podcast with Julian Carl. Julian speaks with leaders from around Australia to bring you their leadership story and share their insights about being a leader. To further help you build your leadership capability, Julian shares his own insights about leadership and the tools and techniques he uses as a leader. Welcome, John, to the Synergen Leadership Podcast. Really appreciate you taking the time to be a part of it so that the listeners can have a bit of a sense about who you are and uh, where you work. Can you share just a little bit about yourself, please? Yeah, thanks, Julie. Really appreciate the, um, the invite to be involved as well. So I'm the co-founder and CEO of a business called True Pillars. We're a two-sided uh, marketplace uh, that operates uh, online. One side of our business involves lending money to small and medium-sized businesses. Unlike a bank, we don't require those businesses to put up property security. So we're trying to fill a a gap where people may have already mortgaged their house or have put all their money into a business, don't have a house to put up. Uh, On the other side, every time we approve a loan to a business, we offer it to a pool of investors uh, that is uh, closing in on about a thousand different um, investors now who pull together and fund each loan we approve. Um, so we're known, um, our industry sector is known as a fintech. It's a bit of a new term that combines a, a traditional financial business with technology that allows us to deliver this whole shooting match online. Uh, we're up to 12 employees in total now. We started open the doors just over two years ago. And um, for me personally, out of the 12, I have five that report directly to me. And so is there an interesting fact about True Pillars that uh, you can share with the listeners? (laughs) Yes, there is. Uh, So the interesting fact is that even though we're only a a small uh, two-year-old Australian business, we actually have shareholders in six different countries. And uh, that's because I spent a fair chunk of my career overseas. And like all startups, when you're very first raising money, a lot of it is from friends and family. And it just happened that the, the friends I've met along the journey are in far-flung places. So we've got shareholders in, in places like Norway and Greece and, and even the UAE. So wow. uh, that's a, an unusual thing, I think, for a small Aussie business. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I want to take you back, all the way back to your very first leadership role. Are you able to share with the listeners a little bit more about what that was? Yep. So um, I was born in Melbourne, but I moved to London at a a pretty young age in my mid-20s. And I was hired by uh, Royal Bank of Scotland, which was uh, one of the the bigger banks in in the UK. And my first role going into there was uh, as uh, what they call a, a client director. And I was given a portfolio of uh, large corporate clients. So my job really was to interact between uh, the senior people at the corporate and all parts of the bank that they were dealing with. So, yeah, I had uh, at the time, there was only one direct report, but it was my first one. So that's why I sort of think of it as my uh, my first leadership role because banking is quite interesting. You spend quite a long time just reporting to someone and then there's a time your first leadership where you actually get your own team. So that was that was my first one. Okay. And can you are you able to remember any of the mistakes you made with your with your team? Yeah, I think the hardest part of making that transition, because uh, by that stage I've you know spent what would I say nearly five years of always working for someone else. It's actually really hard to, to learn how to use a, a team member and delegation just doesn't come naturally at all. Uh, 